sandstorm is a good chance for us to cover a lot of ground undetected, dollface. Just hang in there till Escaton. Escaton? But that's so far! We want to get there before nightfall, because the air is dangerously cold then. Okay. What's this ahead? Windmills, a wind power generation plant. It looks like a graveyard, sir, uncle. <gasps> I don't like this one bit. I want us to hurry to Escotton now. <laughs> Good girl. Let's get going. Just leave it to me. Fellow countrymen, I stand here before you in gratitude for the glorious liberation of Anteria which your sacrifices helped bring about. Your sacrifices and your courage. Liberated from Earth's control, we are a truly free nation. It is true that there was a voice of opposition to liberty, but we are the hope of Mars. In us we see the future of a liberated Mars, a Mars without Earth's cruel hand upon it. We fight for peace. Not just for ourselves, but for future generations who will be born in the peace we will win. Eighty years ago, we came to Mars, and eighty years of oppression have welcomed us here. This is the end of that era. My fellow countrymen, we stand on the threshold of our long-awaited victory. We must never, never forget, forget the, the sacrifices, sacrifices of those who have already given their lives, nor hesitate to do the same if we are called to it. We must never forget, forget the, the horror, horror that was the living Holocaust of Anteria as, as we experienced it under Earth's harsh rule. To forget this is to destroy the very freedom we rightly deserve. To forget this is to deny what we do now to make Mars truly free in the name of all that is true and just. My dear Mars, I commend and congratulate you, all who grasp this key to freedom! <laughs> I am thankful to have been able to say as much. Upper House Member Zach DeGiro. A drink. Yet another victory, Tusha. Your patriotic spirit is much welcome these days. I'm surprised a moderate member of Parliament would dirty his feet in a place like this. But I thank you for your compliment. I do, however, disagree with your tone. You may rouse a crowd, Tusha, but your opinions do not speak for the whole of Mars, and you know it. <laughs> you amuse me. You are reckless and lack the diplomacy for a permanent peace. You're inciting violence against Earth on behalf of an unprepared Basilia. It's not a lost cause. Basilia's Buffram army is not just decoration. Pleminger. Nept Pleminger. If anything is the true strength of the people, it's Buffram. Buffram is Mars' best hope for a future. 
You are from Neridum, aren't you? What would a mere weapons dealer understand about the readiness of a people against an attack from Earth? I know a lot. I know that Mars has magic on its side. It's Metatron that is going to win this war. And what's that for? <gasps> ah! Please, excuse me. I couldn't resist the opportunity. What? I thought you might like a tiny demonstration of the power that Metatron is going to bring to our glorious revolution. Neridum's Metatron technology and Buffram's army will bring Earth to its knees. Huh. <laughs> A butterfly orchid, how rare. I acquired this one from Earth, actually. I was told that you were partial to orchids. <laughs> A little hobby. Mars vegetation is so rough because of its hostile environment. The vegetation is not the only thing that's rough around here. Your relations with the moderate factions could also use some softening up. Some things don't ever change. War is war. We're in a very delicate situation now because the Jehuti seizure failed and now Anteria must be sacrificed by the Buffram army. It's rather unfortunate. And there's the matter of this pesky bug that's gotten away from us, which also needs to be dealt with. A pesky bug? What is it? This was the issue that I wanted to speak with you about. Isis was sighted on the open sea off Chimeria. What? This was confirmed? I don't think it'll make it to Mars. We're following this James Lynx. He may have ISIS, but no idea of the force of the Buffram army. You know, he's not invested in the larger conflict at all. He's looking to rescue his wife, and I don't blame him for that. You said you were working on new technology to replace ISIS. We'll deliver on schedule just as promised, but the details aren't important until it's up and running. Schedules and time frames don't stick. Yes, that is precisely why it's so important to recover ISIS, regardless of the consequences. The longer this takes to get into place, the more likely it will be detected by Earth. And we can't openly back you before Parliament, so I hope you've taken appropriate measures. The reformation on the new unit is complete then? Yes. Have them stand by in the vicinity of Basilia and await my orders. Something's come up and we're changing the plan. You mean you intend to divert the moderate faction? But what about Isis? I will turn that matter over to Sobek. I'm taking command. Yes. The time is drawing near. I'm counting on you. There has been a change of plan. What about getting Isis? The recovery of Isis is no longer a concern of ours. I don't wish to be removed from the task until I have completed the job. What you want is irrelevant. You have your orders. You have no idea what it's been like. From the time we were children, he worshipped me. Because we shared a face, I assumed you were prepared. <laughs> I murdered my brother and you don't get it. And you never will, you monster! You're a fool. How can you so flippantly disregard your vow? Don't be an idiot. What the? I'll avenge my brother in my own way. Idiot. Preparations for takeoff have been completed, Sobek. Prepare to launch orbital frames. Does anybody actually live here? 
I was here some years ago, and this isn't as I remember it. last. Uh, it's kind of hot on Mars. I think I should cut my hair. Oh. Oh, wow. What's this? It's a cornfield. The gravity is so low it gets much bigger. Huh. Uh, is it edible? It's only good fertilizer. Yeah, that figures. And maybe stock feed. <coughs> hey, kitty! Kitty! I lost kitty. That's too bad. I'm gonna go find her. Be right back! Uh, come on, Leon. Let's go look for a transport. That sounds good. I'm not getting back in the capsule to go all the way back to Basilia. What about me? What should I do? Dollface, why don't you go help Noel find the kitten? That'll be enough. Okay. Well, this seems like a strange place to find in the middle of a field. I'd just like to know where the heck all the people are. Huh. Well, it looks like it's in running order. It's perfect. And it's mine. Huh? huh? <sighs> so, what happened here? The last time I was here, this was a growing community. So where did all the people disappear to? What do you think happened in a place with such a harsh environment? Everyone who was here has gone now to find something better. What about you? You didn't just run off. Don't you think it's strange having the whole place? Just you and the kid all alone? You're too young to understand. Huh? It's not as if they left because they wanted to. You just said they pulled up. I mean, it seems a bit selfish just to dump you with the kid and all. Silence! <gasps> you have never plowed the dirt of Mars or worked at this brutal life? We toiled here in daily peril of our lives to grow something as useless as this corn. But it was our 50 years and we kept it for that very reason. We lived for here and we died for here. Do you understand? It's a difficult life, but at least it's a free one. So take the transport if it will take you away and leave us in peace. Well, what do you think about it, Noel? It checks out, Dad. I think it'll be able to get us there fine. Where's Leon? Big Brother? He was around here somewhere. I'll round him up. You hold down the fort. The graves of the kids' mom and dad? Yeah, probably. Dad, it doesn't seem right. Just that old man and the girl running this whole place on their own, out in the middle of nowhere. To us, no. But towns like this are common on Mars. They lived exiled lives here. Huh? Earth continues to send ship after ship of settlers to colonize. But their extensive efforts to change Mars' environment haven't proven that the planet can properly sustain them. But as long as the problem isn't on Earth, Earth officials turn a blind eye. But that's so wrong, Dad. Maybe, but it's the way it's always been done. Since the colonization began, this has been a nightmare. Sad. Huh? What's with the flash already? What are you taking our pictures for and who do you think you are? I have permission to be here from the government at Chimeria. See? You're from the Gaia Times? But that means you've come from Earth! Say you want to do me a favor and pose like you were before, on your knees in front of the grave, because that was a really good picture. Huh? Huh? Oh. Here. Go on. We'll take it. Come on, that's got to be worth more than enough for your time. What are you proud? This is practically a month's worth of wages. 
Or are you just greedy, like they say all Martians are? Let's go. Well, don't tell me now I've offended you. Hey! What the heck was her problem? Arrogant opportunist reporter making crass assumptions about Martians. Yeah, I got that too. Oh, Sir Uncle! What now? <laughs> Good work, doll. Maybe you finally found your true calling. <laughs> Take the old man and the girl and find cover. Right! <gasps> why? Why can't anyone just leave us in peace? Keep moving. Stupid idiot! What are you doing? Noel, go! Huh? Oh, this is just rich. Perfect. Alien robots battle it out on Mars. This will sell like hotcakes. Do you want to get yourself killed standing up here like this? Ah! Come on! Ah! Listen, dollface. Take the fight outside. Let's not risk any lives. Just get in. The son who wants to leave the village, and the father who will not abandon tradition. Persuasion fails. Oh, this is good. This is really, really good. Oh, yeah. Son slumps his shoulders in defeat. A tearful farewell for all. Ow! I said get inside! Where are you going exactly? Hey! Head for the windbreak. Set us at a two o'clock bearing. Right! I thank you for your concern, young man. But I have no intention of leaving our home. Having trouble shaking him down here. Doll, watch out! Have What the heck is that? I don't know, but I can do it! Ah, look at that explosion! That was rough. Are you all right?
hope we didn't kill the pilot. Huh? Great Scott! She's just a kid!